Let's just keep these two. Watch your YouTube vids every day since Angora. First time watching live? Well, what took you so long? No, just kidding. Welcome. Glad to have oh. you. Um, let's forge and bash you. We shall play this guard and bonk them. Probably went for the forge there. Why? What would I do instead? Forge because look, the main reason this is in my deck is not to get a random holy spell. It's to forge for Ignis. How does every opponent that I, I play against have this guy? Like, instantly. It's kind of wild, honestly. I could just play this here. It feels pretty bad. I also just attack, Astalor this, forge this. I will put you in the ground. Yeah, Jotun is just like a totally outrageous card. <laughs> just like another Phantasms or something? Or, oh, did you just misclick it? Because that's funny if you did. Runic Adornment. Okay. Totally, totally reasonable, right? What? Okay. What the hell was that? Just kill these two, I guess. Sure. Sure. Every time I see you get close to looking like a king that's loved by the people but dies early in the movie because he trusts the ones who betray him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ooh. Well, that's good. This is actually particularly great because these fill up the. the Forged version of Tears Tears if they all die, and it means we get like an extra tail from the Leviathan. Uh huh. Sure. Okay, they're super dead. Cool. Even more stuff. Not only are they just playing like Relic Demon Hunter with Jotun and Teddy Jotun like super early. Look at this. I think we keep we do this so we can. Where do we keep the extra divine shield? Maybe we keep the extra divine shield. I think the extra divine shield's probably good. Yeah. The only thing I want to play is like a Zola here. So yeah. I think the extra divine. Shield. Oh hello, Amitus. I'm tempted to not hero power because that puts a bad minion into my pool. I'm just gonna say go. Okay. So, 
I mean, I have this, but I can't cast that and Consecration. If I play Amethyst, I mean, I can Amethyst and turn their guys into 2-2s, two but then I gotta die anyway. I think we just Consecration and sent this. Here, let's send this here. Then, sure, just another relic of extinction. Why not? And they have another one in hand because they just drew it. So <laughs> bananas. Sure. Uh huh. Nice. You know that we have Zola and Holy Maki roll, so we'll put Zola on top. We'll draw Zola. We'll Zola this. We'll burn our next card, and that's fine. The more you struggle, the better. Give some of the arcane sure. Okay. I think I just got more power. If three rights make a left. They have another relic though, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, here's another tier. Yeah, whose things are more disgusting here? It's unclear. Okay. I'm just gonna Consecration you. Hit you for 12. Go. He has heard our plea! He has heard our plea! Oh, more Phantasms! Okay! Wait. Was that a, that was a cast wind drawn phantasms? And wait, they they got a cast wind drawn phantasms that also triggered Jotun. Okay, there's another phantasms. <laughs> uh, okay, I think they're just still dead though. Like my board is just eight billion, eight billion. Uh huh. I was more successful in summoning a larger and larger man than my opponent. <laughs> wow. I mean, that came together super well for me. And really well for my opponent, but even better for me. Okay, um... Yeah. Alright, nice. Hello. And ah, okay. Most of the... Hmm, most of the Death Knights that I've played against have been, like, less hyper-aggro, but... Yeah. I wonder if this deck wants the double service spell. I think it does, because just like, you know, hitting your, your earthens is so important. Howdy, yeah, fam. Okay. Hmm. This is a spot where I'd love a judge unworthy. Sure. Okay. Meh, alright. 
really worth that rather than getting a damage on this guy. That feels feels suspect. Okay. Yes. So Pyro Coin Treasure Guard wipes out so much of your damage. Mm hmm. Yep. Totally happy with that. These don't bring back anything currently, right? You are a friend to the earth. Uh, this is definitely a mid range deck. It's, it's like on the controlling side of mid range, but I certainly say it's a mid range deck. Okay. Okay. Hmm. That Army of the Dead was really powerful. I have no no consecration. I've already played a pyro. Light guide my patience. And we do have the Maki roll, but they have just a ton of damage on board. Sad that I used my pyromancer, but I like I think I just have to gain Mace all this life. Is here. Which also unfortunately means that Pyro doesn't really do enough. Running out of time. Most intriguing. Yeah, we need to find like Anachronos. Consecration would have been insane, like, up at any point but now, but now, like, even Consecration I don't think is good enough. Though we can Consecration and Astalor next turn. Oh, do they have Rostrum's Fury? Astalor, okay. Yeah, that's gonna beat us. We just have Astalor 8 in hand now. And now we draw Pyro the turn after we had to play that. Alright, we die. Yeah, I mean, they just had good aggressive draw. We didn't find Consecration. We had to use the Pyro with the coin. And they had double Might of Menafel. And the Discovered Army of the Dead got us good. Okay. By my hammer's might. I'm going to keep these. Ignis is super strong. We have three Forge things. Hello. Oh, they're... Okay, well now I'm, I'm glad we at least didn't keep both quality. Ah, oh, there's a Forge thing. So that's a great draw. Umber Rays in seven months? Oh, wait, it is. Okay, interesting. I wasn't expecting this to be uh, Treants, considering it's Renathal. But it's probably... It's probably like, you know, choose one, go really big Treants. I'm just going to Consecration these away now. The card you forge does not reveal to your opponent, no. I will take the Cleave one against what, you know, is clearly a deck with Treants. I'll take... I mean, Draw 2 is super strong. I'm going to take Draw 2. Okay, it's gonna be the choose one thing, right? Welcome to Cleveland. And draw two. This is exactly the same one that I had against the previous uh, druid, it's true. Mm hmm. 
Embrace of Nature with a drum circle and such feels very strong. Rhythm and Roots. Okay. Coin Blossoms. Okay. Yeah, we're burning a card this way. Mm hmm. The five cost weapons from Ignis are really good. Ooh, okay. That's an annoying one to lose. Um, all right. Well, we're going to burn some cards. You are going to dredge here. I'm going to put this pyro on top. No, we burned our Anachronos. That sucks. Alright. Yeah. We do at least have the equality, but we did burn another one. It, the draw two weapon is not necessarily... Wait. Where did these come from? Hold on. How did... Did they, did they just have... Um, oh, wait. It, it had the both choose one of... Oh, wow. Okay. I was I totally lost the fact that, like, he was like, oh, no, yeah, they actually got... Wow, that's gross. Okay. Um, huh. Yeah, I think I'm just doing this. We still have the equality for the 8-8s. Eight Three with the 65 months. Welcome back. Although amusingly, I'm not sure that that was actually the right thing to put on top. I just kind of autopiloted that to some extent. No, it's fine. Yeah, I think we just played this. Three. Mm-hmm. It's not like they're gonna deal with this, you know? If I it's awkward to play. I mean it's just so good. I bestow these gifts upon the world. Wow. Okay. Raw until your hand is full. Oh boy. So, I can Amidus make your guys tutus and just kill them all. I will not forsake you. Cease your quarrel at once. So. Arcane Bolt! Your path is flawed. This is the place of peace! Maybe I should just buff my guys, you know. I mean, we still get the, the ability to make to buff my guys, you know? It's like we lose the ability to buff my guys. Unless this dies. Also, just like strong roots. uh, service bell for consecration and quality consecration next turn. Yeah, Amidas and the disciple of Amidas turns out in combination powerful. 
Not really necessarily specifically <laughs> like they combo together. They're just both good. Class, I think, will be the weakest. Are you know. ready to dance? Well met. A red sun rising. Okay, so like pure or aggro or something. this consecration clears five power we can also just use this and then look to pyro coin consecration next Light turn guide my patience it's probably better that way i'm gonna do this like if a consecration here Initializing the set. Mm -hmm. it's like pretty face up that I'm planning doing. Mm -hmm. This way I get to pyro coin, removes this anyway, and consecration clears their board. They do end up with plus two on their next thing. I can also not use the consecr yeah I'm just playing holy Maki roll. And saving consecration. Lotus Gate, thanks for the 20 months. Much appreciated. Young Sav, thanks for the Prime sub. Much, much appreciated. Jury duty, okay. Hmm. Take this. I purify my enemies. How long am I growing my hair for? Uh, two years ish. Oh no. Oh no. Huh. All right, we're gonna play this. I'm mean, gonna draw with it. I will not foresee. Hmm. Be reborn in my image. Yeah. Anonymous, thanks for the 15 month welcome back. But yeah, my last haircut was March of 2020. Hmm. Need a bit more spice over here. Is that all you got? So this. Okay. Oh, that's real good with this. Okay. I think we're just gonna shrink their guys. Let's say go. This is gonna bring back another Amitus, because I've only had Mm-hmm. Yep, I've only had a a dude stand against darkness. What the Okay. What's happening? Okay. I'm gonna play Pyromancer into this. Right? Or do I play this first? And then Pyro and I guess I have another one of these. Okay, yeah. So we'll play Tears Tears. Oh wait, they come back. They come back with two anyway. What am I talking about? It's the same. Oh well. So I will play Pyro. Like play with fire. 
heal myself. Everything is plus two, plus two. Go. Reporting for duty. Reporting for duty. It's not that I'm. It's it's super weird that they have that. Oh. Okay. Oh, that's infused. That's hilarious. My client has the heart of a Kiri. Could have healed. I did heal myself. Uh. Okay. I actually had infinite with the the I could play every single card because I had Holy Maki roll <laughs> into the commander with with yeah. <laughs> I'd already played two Holy Maki rolls, but I had to discover one. And they didn't even know it, and they conceded before I even got to play literally every single card. Very disappointing. I'm gonna keep consecration and the king. It like. The druids that I've seen so far have been, uh, have been tree, uh, treant. So, yep. Looking for a group. Nature's blessings upon you. Armor, armor, lightly used armor. Uh, yep. There come the trees. I'm just playing this 2-3, and I get the holy spell. Ooh, Inventor's Aura, that is completely useless, so that's cool. But we want to play the 2-3 specifically because it challenges the 2-2s. Two Alright. Perfect, I'll just Consecration you. What's the Druid Forge card? Forget the Druid Forge card. You are a oh yeah, it's draw choose one, right, 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 that one. Lisa Larry, thanks for the prime sub. Ooh, double cast. Double cast. It. Ah, okay, that's kinda cool. All right, that's pretty efficient. Okay. Here comes some apples. All right, that was a lot of generation, you know, card drawn card generation there. Whoa! Okay, that was disgusting. My poor guy. Okay, we're doing this. Ooh, yes, Cleave Axe, let's go. I want Cleave and Card Draw Axe, I think. Yeah. Make a 4-drop is pretty gross, too. I have I have Pyromancer and stuff in my deck, though. Yeah, we're gonna take Cleave and Draw 2. Seems so good. Ignis seems very good. Yeah, Draw 2 on this is 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 nutty. Let's, like, just nutty. We all exist in okay. Hmm. I think I'm just playing this to just start drawing cards off it. I strike. Like, I obviously don't want to, like, you know, waste the cleave there or whatever, but... Oh, boy. Okay. Yep. Um, I can just do Quality Consecration this... I can also just Consecration and swing with the Cleave thing and clear their board. Other than one guy, right? Like, if I Consecration, attack here, these all die. Yeah, it's probably best. I think I'd probably just use this. Yeah. Okay. 
her. I prefer post Is this? Oh, no, I don't really want any of those. I mean, I have equality and um, judge unworthy for another full board clear. Okay. from so i mean i can just equality swing attack a guy and play stuff out i guess i should have just played this instead of this guy let's turn that quickly we're definitely playing equality the question is just is it a quality swing or quality judge unworthy i think it's probably just a quality swing and attack into a guy either way i'm overdrawing right the cleave weapon is so insane here oh, that's unfortunate Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just whether I mill the card right now or mill the card when I draw from my next turn. It's irrelevant the other way. Okay. Well, I will service Bell. Wow, I actually did not hit equality. Am I just dead now? I can, I can judge him where the a uh, guy. But then I just die? Yeah. I guess, I guess I'm not dead. Okay. Not dead yet. Oh, I am dead. Okay. Well, they were really high-end druid stuff, but the the fact that the uh, the your next choose one thing has both effects combined carries over to future turns is always so powerful. They just they just had that with drum circle, drum circle. And yeah, we hit like pretty terrible holy spell. Like the fact that we also like you know were uh, in a position where you know we hit useless card off of both of our like you know uh, random spell and discover effect was pretty bad with our hand being full of stuff and not being able to like even swing to dig for stuff. Oh well.